Okay, we're ready to add in some uh, cold water piping here. And I'm just in a 3D view and I think uh, I will start this from um, a plan view and we can flip back and forth and we can use tiled views, etc. So um, we're going to connect cold water to these uh, water closets here, the urinals and then the sinks and we'll just um, have the cold water come in right down the middle over here and then feed these guys over here. So we have our floor plan already laid out here so I can double click on there. I'm zoomed in, zoomed in a little bit. I'm currently set to be shaded mode. You could change yourself to be hidden line or wireframe, but I find it's kind of nice, uh, easy on the eye to have a shaded mode. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick on this water closet, the one down at the end. We're going to right click on this connector and say draw pipe. And we're going to go over here and have a look and it's going to naturally pick up the domestic cold water one because it knows that from the family itself and I'm going to drag over and I'm going to take off all my automatic connect and my automatic um, inherit and I'm just going to drag over to be somewhere around there which is around the middle of the wall and then I'm going to pick and then now I'm going to drop my elevation down to be 400 so I'm going to type in here 400 enter now I'm down at an elevation of 400 so at the elevation of 400, I'm just above level 2, that is. You can see my level 2 over here, and there's the 400. I'm just going to take that cold water and, you know, just drag it out to there. That's it. Hit escape, escape. If I go back to my 3D plumbing view, I can see that, you know, I've basically drawn a piece of pipe that came out, and then I said drop 400 and then go straight out. Okay, we're going to tie in these guys after. So we'll go back to our floor plan, pan over here a little bit, go to the next guy. Okay, This one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to pick on here, we're going to right click on here and say draw pipe, but, then, but this time we're going to say automatically connect and also inherit the elevation of the object I snap to. And then I'm going to drag over to the middle of this pipe. And as I drag over, I'm going to read down here on my status bar. And the first thing it's going to pick up is the center of the wall, okay, or the sanitary, actually. So I'm going to hit Tab. I'm looking for the 25 millimeter cold water pipe. Watch. Hovering in the middle here, Tab, Tab. There it is. PVC 25 millimeter at 400. Click. That's all I have to do. That connects that. Okay, we'll fix the, the adjacent one in a second. Same thing over here. While I'm still drawing the pipes, I can hover over here. It'll naturally snap to that connector. And as long as I say inherit uh, the height, it's going to pick that up, pick. And then as I drag over here, I, all I have to do is hover over here, make sure these guys are turned on, hover over that pipe, and I'm going to use my tab button on the keyboard, cycle tab, 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 tab. There it is click. Oh, didn't like that. Okay, let's try that again. Escape, escape. Let's start by picking right on the uh, the connector. I always find I get better luck with that. Draw pipe. Drag over. Turn on my inherits. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to take off, leave the automatic connect and then take off the inherit elevation aspect. Now I can leave that on, hover over here, tab, 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 there it is, click, draws in that fitting for me, pan my way down, next um, water closet over here. Now I think, let's try this, take this off, pick on here, now this time when I drag over, put it back on, and use my tab button, tab, 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 click. Oh, still doesn't like that. Really prefers escape, escape if you say draw pipe right off the connector here. And then turn on my inherits and my automatically connect. Tab, 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 tab. There it is. Pick. Puts that guy in. Not a lot of room there. And I know by now I'm going to start my command again by clicking here. Right click. Um, right click right on the connector, draw a pipe, 
turn on my inherits, move over, tab, 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 click. Okay, let's have a look at our 3D view, see how we're doing. Hmm, not too bad. Okay, got all our cold water connectors going on there. Okay, we'll fix these two guys and we'll go do our sinks first. Back to our plan view, pan down a little bit, pick on our sink, right click, draw a pipe, inherit the elevation, tab until I see the right pipe, click, hit my modify tool instead of hitting escape escape, oh there's my cancel that save, pick on here, right click, draw a pipe. I tell you if you're getting bored then it means you're learning something. Perfect. It's even going to resize that pipe because the sinks have different connector sizes. Okay. Escape, escape. Notice it's doing that. We'll have a look at that when we get into our 3D view. Draw a pipe. Turn on our connectors. Tab, 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 tab. Click. Pick my modify tool. Pick on my sink. Right click. Draw a pipe. Turn my settings on, hover over, try to stay near the center, tab, 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 watching the status bar, click on here, escape, escape, 3D view, oh, wrong 3D view, I meant to do my 3D plumbing view. There we go. And... That seems to be working. Okay. Cold water. Nicely positioned. We can use our Navis works to do our clash detection. Okay. The last thing we want to do is just upgrade this to a T section. So I can click on this, pick on my plus button, turns that into a T section. Same thing over here. I can do this in a plan view or a uh, or a 3D view and go back to my plan view pan over to those water closets pick on my water closet and right click on my connector draw pipe and drag over to here and I don't know if I need that because it's at the same elevation but I can just go over there and I, I wonder if I hit tab 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 T connection, that's what I want. Escape, escape, zoom out, pan out a little bit, and pick on our water closet, right click on the connector, draw pipe. Now, again, this is, uh, I'm doing this with pipes, but this could be um, ductwork as well, right? Hovering over here, I want to find that MT, I think that's it. Pick on there, escape, escape, go back to my 3D plumbing view, okay. If you don't like that T fitting, you can pick on here and pick a different one here, or you can hit edit type, and then you can go load a different family, etc. So lots of options inside of there. So there's our cold water, there's our sanitary piping sloping out. There's our hot water connection off of our piece of equipment. A little bit of information on the uh, system browser um, and piping in general and routing and tabbing and clicking on connectors and stuff like that. So um, we're going to uh, move on and talk about some other topics uh, in this um, introduction to Revit MEP 2013 series. Uh, but that's going to be it for a little bit on the piping stuff. We're going to continue to talk about systems and, um, and all aspects of MEP.